Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Justin from Alto Music. Welcome back to another one of our videos. And in this video, we're gonna talk about some guitars and what guitars in particular. But we're gonna talk about these brand new Surfliner guitars from Guild. Before we do that, I just wanna remind you guys, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, you'll get notified before anyone else when we put up content because we upload it to YouTube first. Fancy that. You also don't have to do that, but we recommend you do. Anyway, back to guitars. The new Surfliner series from Guild is a vintage inspired offset body line uh, made out of solid poplar wood. There's a lot going on with these guitars and you can see just from looking at it how different these look uh, than some of the other things that Guild has put out into the uh, out into the industry in the past. You know, you may know them from their acoustic guitars or even from their semi hollows and their hollows, but I feel like this guitar marks sort of a new uh, a new generation for new guild players. It's got a uh, bolt-on 25 and a half inch scale maple neck, and it's got a satin finish on the neck as well. Really comfortable, tunematic bridge, and string through body right here. You don't see too much of that, uh, you know, nowadays, but it's, it gives it a sort of a modern retro look, which I, I like that. And in addition, you got on the back here, it's uh, the G neck plate which I actually didn't really look at it too much until just now. I like this a lot. What I like about this, the string through body to the tunematic bridge, gives you a really nice feel on the guitar. Um, there's a really nice sustain and resonance to it, as well as a really great tension as you go up the neck. Uh, you don't feel like you're getting cheaped out as you get higher up there. It tends to stay pretty, you know, pretty even and pretty comfortable all the way up. You have a uh, LB1 uh, mini humbucker bridge right down here. Uh, and then the neck and mid pickup here uh, are going to be Deermond Aerosonics. Uh, and, you know, each one of these has their own distinct characteristic. And to switch between these, something I haven't seen before, which I think is kind of cool, you have these three rocker switches here. So these are just on off rocker switches. So instead of having the, you know, classic switch between the, you know, mid neck bridge you can turn them on separately. Uh, so, you know, when we have the this one here, the furthest one in, that's gonna turn on your bridge pickup. And that's gonna give you the... A really nice, it's got like a little bit of a growl to it, but it's not, you know, not pushing it too hard. Um, really... I really like the sound of that bridge pickup. Uh, uh, the more I play it, the more my ears kind of getting tuned to the nuances of it. I really like it. Um, and that one, you know, like I said, it's an on-off switch, so you can go cuts it right out. Uh, and second switch here in, it's your mid, so that's gonna give you your. of Tom Morello. This is sort of a workaround to get that sort of kill switchy sound or not. You can be the judge of that. Uh, and then the top switch here gives you your neck pickup, as you would assume. And, uh, you know, from there you can mess around with different combinations. It's sort of a, a different way to visualize your uh, pickup setting you know, it gives you just a bit more visual visualization of it. So you can do, you know, neck and bridge on. Or, you know, mid bridge. Or, you know, neck and mid if you want to do that. And this guitar really does a good job of um, covering the whole range of things. Uh, that's what I've really noticed. And something I appreciate with a guitar is when you can cover the whole range of things. Uh, it's good for the, you know, if you want to just turn the neck pickup on in the mid, get a really nice Rhythm, for ballad, for, you know, solo stuff, whatever. And then crank on that bridge with the mid, 
get a really nice, you know. I guess what I'm getting at is with these guitars, there's range for every player. And at the price point, it's really accessible for somebody who's maybe buying their first guitar or even wants to step up to something new, something different. And uh, you can't go wrong with an offset body, right? I mean, look at this thing. The finishes that these come in are really cool too. Uh, this one here is the Sunset Orange. Um, and you can see just by looking at it, there's a really nice transparency to it. Um, sometimes with guitars in this price range, you may find that, um, you know, the finishes are either a lot or too little. They're kind of, there's no nuance to them, but these are, these are really nice. Um, like I said, this one's the Sunset Orange. There's also a White Sage uh, and there's a Catalina Blue as well, which all have the same sort of transparent finish to it. Um, you know, it's just nice to see that care was put into a guitar at a, an accessible price range. Um, everything from the, you know, the top of the top of the head to the to the body of the guitar feels like it was you know created with uh, intention and i really like that uh but tell us what you think i mean if you've got one of these or if you have any thoughts about this guitar let us know in the comments below or don't uh, again not going to tell you what to do it's your youtube account uh but if this is something you are interested in if it's something you feel like picking up uh something you feel like working into your gear head over to altomusic.com and order yours today See you next time.